Plugins in Adobe XD are really useful because they simply expand the Adobe XD's potential and uh, basically all of these outside companies, outside individuals are going to use Adobe XD to improve its usability, to improve its features and to help you work much faster by using these plugins. So plugins are located right here on the left. And if I hover, you can see, you can view all installed plugins and use them while designing. So if I click right here, these are all the plugins which I installed. Obviously, you can uh, install your own and they are going to show up right here in the list. So for now, what I can do is, for example, show this Lorem Ipsum because it's just a basic plugin. So when I click right here, just don't let me... I want to close this group and click outside of it. So it just creates a new text layer. So for example, if I create... This is my text. I want to hit V on my keyboard, move it right here to my grid, and I want to change it back to 36. So with that text selected, I can go to the plugin, I can go to Lorem Ipsum, for example, and I can fill it with placeholder text. It's going to give me some options, so yes, accept, and you can change it from right here. I'm just going to use the default and you can see it update to Lorem Ipsum. So what I can do is click right here and fill it in. So for example, right around here, maybe I can expand it to here. And then now when I select it, fill with placeholder text, insert text, it's going to fill in all of that section with your text. So you can really see how this plugin alone helped me and increased my speed by placing all of this dummy text right inside rather than me coming up with a text, uh, what should it be, how it should be organized and all those things. It just placed it right here. So if you want to install your plugin, what you need to do is click right here it's going to show you this option so you can discover, browse and manage all of your plugins. Obviously, if I click manage, it's going to just show me these plugins. You can update all. As you can see, I have four different updates. You can browse and you can set by categories. These are most popular. And if I choose collaboration, tools and automation, usability and testing, publishing handoff and design assets, you can change right here. But for example, if I type in, I don't know, map, maybe click enter, it's going to show you all of these different plugins, which are for maps. Finally, if you go back to discover, you can see edit is choice. So if you click view, it's going to show you edit is choice. So this is what Adobe XD team thinks that you as a designer need the most. These are the most popular plugins by the community. And basically they are recommending you these plugins. You can go back right here and you can see these essential plugins favorite XD, uh, connect XD to your favorite apps. So you can see Zeppelin, you can see Dropbox, you can see Slack right here. So you can pull in information from all of these. Let's say that you have the file uh, shared inside of your Slack chat. For example, you can connect Slack right here and you can easily pull in that file. For example, client send you an image. You can pull it from Slack in Adobe XD or you can share your file that you're working on right now in XD to the Slack by simply connecting that plugin to Adobe XD. Same thing with Zeppelin, same thing Dropbox, basically just allow you to work much faster when these plugins are connected with your XD. We have uh, collections, so sketch plugins, and this is not the sketch tool, but sketches as drawings, copywriting and localization, testing and usability. And once again, you can browse through categories. So for example, I want to use design assets and it's going to show you all of the different uh, icons, Andro is for illustration, UI faces is for avatars, user profile, you can display generated avatars, calendar, so you can quickly create a calendar, you can quickly create charts, you can choose different colors, you can do a quick mock-up, you can do auto grid, unsplash random to choose different images from unsplash and so much more. So basically that's it for these plugins. You can install them, you can manage them on your system, you can see how they work. And in the next video, we're going to talk about Repeat Grid, which is this amazing feature of Adobe XD. And once again, same like the plugins, it's going to allow you to work much faster with your elements. So I'll see you there.